Hey guys, it's Jessica here. Uh, got some heads back. Hi guys, it's Jessica, and yes, indeed, I have two heads back from uh, Face Up Artists. This was my Raw Umber Kalo and my Mint uh, Oryx. These are both Artifacts Kindred or Twiggling dolls, and I am super excited. So this is a Maiden's Kiss on Instagram and ooh, like Draconian Vic uh, on DOA. I, I can't remember what her DOA name is, um, but I will put all links to her appropriate social media down in the description box below. So if you want to uh, contact her to um, face up your own dolls. You'll have all that information down below. Um, and this box, uh, I think this washi tape, who sent that? Was that, was that Meeks? Meeks BJD? Meeky doll? Meeky doll? Uh, I can't remember now who, I think it might have been her. Um, and so <laughs> it is a good box for heads. <laughs> but it's got like addresses all over it. <laughs> um, so this is the only safe spot. But uh, yeah, so um, continuing all these dolls that I sent out, um, I have uh, two, no, five more dolls to come home. Um, I sent uh, my Abby, Rumple doll, Abby doll to, um, uh, Red Iris Atelier, and I also sent her my Lavender Ingenue, um, or the Ag Agria Silver. Oh, look, here we go. There we go. So if you want to look up her social media, um, Face Ups, Wigs, Couture. So, um, I actually haven't really seen her wigs or her sewing, so that's, I actually didn't know that. Um, use this code for 15% off your next on leg order resin rose. Cool. Okay. Um, I guess she has an Etsy shop. I didn't, I didn't realize that. All right. Here are a couple of heads. <laughs> okay, Let me get this out of the way and save that box to send other heads off. Um, yeah, and I have two, <coughs> two, no, three heads that I sent out to Aludis, and I still need to get her information, face up information. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad. Um, okay, so I, you can tell who's who. Here's Mint Girl, and here is my Kalo. So I think I'll open my Kalo first. And um, she is a very dark resin color. Ooh. Oh, shoot, did her eyelashes get smushed a little bit? No, a little bit, but they actually, I think they're okay. All right. Go. Let's unwrap her here carefully. This rose washi tape. There she is. Oh my gosh. Wow. She's beautiful. She is so beautiful. Oh, look at that profile. Those cheekbones. Gorgeous. And I love the metallic. Oh my gosh. That lipstick is, oh, I freaking love it. Let me see here if I can I get my own face out of there. Oh, the lipstick. I love the lipstick so much. So gorgeous. 
Let's put some eyes in you, sweetie, and put you on your body. So, <laughs> just holding her in my hands is making me very uh, eager to to maybe to make something for her, to sew something for her. Um, okay, let's see. I think I had these eyes in her. I'm trying to remember. I think I really liked these. Um, these were some 10 millimeter small iris eyes from um, you guessed it, Enzo Eyes, uh, who definitely has to be my favorite small eye, small iris maker. Like, always my favorite. Um, don't know, let's see. Hmm. They all, alternatively, I could do these doll bakery eyes that are green and gold um, because I don't know about these. Well, I, I, I think dupe that purple does go with gold and yellow. So I'll show you guys. And wait. Um, and she probably Probably the eyes that would fit her the best would be 12 millimeter small iris eyes. Um, let me move her eyes a little bit there. Okay. Let's see if you can see those eyes. And and I do like those, but I don't like them now as much with the with the face up because the colors. I don't know. Let's try these. Okay, yeah, I think that these are these are going to be the better eyes for her now. Um, so I think that her and Oryx are probably going to switch eyes <laughs> with their new face-ups that they're actually going to be better than the other one. Um, yeah, I really, I think that these suit the face-up a lot better. These are doll bakery eyes and um, from like her last pre-order that she did which was like gosh it's like three years ago now um, and I love her eyes too but she's just she really hasn't been very active unfortunately okay I think Either way, I don't think you can see them very good. There we go. So it's kind of a, they're green and gold. I think those suit her a lot better. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. I just freaking love the lips. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's put you on your body here. grab a wig for her though I really love how um, angsty penguin actually painted the um, head cap because it's um, shaped like hair she painted it a dark really really dark brown and I love how her girl looks um, that's something to consider but let me grab this wig. So this is the wig that I was having her wear quite a lot. Um, and this wig was 
originally made by Moderately Vivid for my um, Finitu. And so I don't know if I like it the same anymore with the face up. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think, I don't know what color. Let's try, um, let's try this one. This is a Purple Heart BJD wig because um, it, it's got the yellow and the um, kind of pinky colors, the gold, and it is a little bit big. It's meant for people 60 head and so it's a little big on her. Definitely needs some a wig cap to help things out, so I need to find one. So she's an SD sized, but she's, I can't remember, I think she's like 20 centimeters, so she's a very small SD head. sure I'll need to play around but I do think these colors complement her but the wig is just a bit big I do think the colors are really pretty so we'll see here I think what other wigs that I have I could consider. Hmm. hmm. So I do I do think something with a bright yellow or this orangey color just would go well. Hmm. She's beautiful though. I think her eyes are so pretty. Okay, let's open up my Oryx. Um, Twiggling Oryx is, at this point in time, is probably my favorite sculpt, my favorite Twiggling sculpt after Ingenue. Um, I used to say that um, Pieta was, but um, I, I didn't have an Oryx yet at that point, and oh, she's so pretty, oh, you guys, there she is, okay, I'm so excited, oh, oh my gosh, oh, she's so pretty. And I love how she brought out her her mint colored resin. This green, it's so pretty. Oh. And oh, she's just amazing. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Like, yeah. <laughs> She's perfect. This is, let me get my face out of there. This is exactly, yeah. And I think that these eyes, see she has the same kind of head cap. So you could uh, paint her head cap and it's got the sideburns. So I think all of the new sculpts, uh, so 
Oryx and Kalo um, and Elbe and Nikuru have, well, Nikuru has a textured head cap that's, uh, that you could, uh, that you could really paint it to have as hair. Um, okay, yes, oh, yeah. So they did a switcheroonie with their eyes. So now Oryx has Kalo's eyes and Kalo has Oryx's eyes, but now this is perfect. This is so pretty. So yeah, I love, love Kalo. Um, uh, I mean, I, I, I love Oryx. Uh, she is, after her twiggling ingenue, she is my favorite twiggling sculpt. And, and I think that really the, a, a size 12 pair of eyes with a um, small iris would probably be suit both of these girls the that the best um the tens there's a little bit of gapping with these tens but they're the most suitable eyes at this point in time for these girls and let's see here okay and oh that's gorgeous I am so in love. <laughs> I'm so happy. And she's, you know, she, these teal and mint colors are just my favorite, my favorite. Um, and uh, I actually like this outfit now all the more with this face up. Like, I really like this outfit on her. muscles Boy, she's tightly strung okay <laughs> do I need legs there we go so I can even groove there okay there we go oh my gosh need to make her some sort of like shorts to go with this <laughs> something underneath because oh my goodness she's so beautiful she's so beautiful okay let's find you a wig So, um, oh, she's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. Move her down here so you guys can see her. Oh, these eyes. Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> not bad actually. I really like that. Um, let me try this just this is Alyssa's wig. <laughs> um, but it does fit these smaller twiggling heads really good too. Oh, 
Oh, that's really pretty. Those are both really pretty wigs. Oh my gosh, you guys. She's incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh. Isn't she enchanting? Here, let's go grab your parts down here. <laughs> So beautiful. Maybe I'll make like a little belt out of this fabric to hang down in front. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. Oh, oh she's magical. Oh, okay. Well, let me try one more different wig that that might work better in the camera. It's just a much smaller head cap. It fits better at least, but it's just not the right colors. Um, she really does need something that's got some of these oranges, more orangey type reds. Um, You guys can't see it all. Shoot. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, so you didn't get to see the other wig at all. Um, maybe this is a more natural red Gar wig. Oh, that's not bad. Hmm. Like this wig, this wig would be perfect, I think. That's the kind of colors I envision for her, like a sunset. So again, this wig is so big. Put this one on her again. She does, I think part of the issue is that she has a very, um, low forehead and so the oversized wig just doesn't work she's very beautiful oh my gosh such a gorgeous doll so hard to photograph <laughs> they're so hard to photograph and, and light especially when they're next to yeah, when you have light-skinned and dark-skinned dolls and you're trying to take a picture of them in the same picture. It's so frustrating. I'm not good at it. <laughs> um, but I'll be sure to add uh, some um, photos so you can get some good looks at them. Um, if my lighting wasn't very good here in the video. But... Thank you very, very much to Maiden's Kiss. I am 
overjoyed and uh, I am just loving getting my girls back um, with these new and varied face-ups and yeah it's it's so exciting it's so exciting um, yeah here they're here right here actually um, my the other two that came in I guess it was last week last weekend <laughs> I got cut off there uh, but yeah these were the two girls that came in from um, Jade Garden BJD my fang my married all round fang and my um, sleeping menongenu who is getting uh, a corset it's in progress right now working on the embroidery um, so yeah I am so excited to be getting these dolls back in uh, again I want to make some sort of little bit of an updates video too and hopefully maybe I can do that now um, See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.